Oh shit. I did not mean to cross that. Oops. <laughs> well, we're in the thick of it. Already. Jesus. Alright. Well. Uh, fuck. Is there any way to just instantly go back? Probably not. Anyways. I don't know. There might be. Escape? Backspace? No? Alright. So. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything between. To more. Well, I say to more, but... To Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. I played this game about a year ago. And we didn't finish it. Because at the time, it was just really difficult to stream it. Because you had to... I had to have like three different windows up. And, I, and my screen wasn't big enough for that, right? So since then... I went and got, I went and got, um, you know, another monitor. Now it's way easier to stream this game, way easier for me to play it. One screen I can dedicate to the game, the other screen, you know, I can dedicate to Twitch and OBS and all that bullshit. So, here we are. What I originally planned to do was just come back to the game, continue playing it like I did before, right? But instead... I was like, you know what, uh, you know, within that, within that whole span of, you know, that time span of me not streaming this game, I was like, you know what, it'll be nice just to like, kind of start fresh, start anew. So, let's do that. So while that was happening, I went and I played the game a little bit more. I did not beat this game, but I did get a little bit farther than where we left off. Not that farther, just a little bit. And I was playing, uh, I was playing what, Gangrel? That clan, the beast guys, the animal people. But, yeah, I want to restart this. <laughs> go to the character sheet. There we go. Let me just make sure that the game audio is fine. And eh, it looks fine. <laughs> and that's how we're going to do that. I might need to lower it on my end. Just so that I can hear my damn self. You guys are going to hear that. There we go. Alright. So, I was playing Gangrel on my own time. Just to see differences. In our original playthrough, we were playing Ventru. And we're going to continue with that. Right? I now, uh... I have not even opened the save file that we last left on. When we last played this game. When I last streamed it. And now that I think about it, my stats are probably all fucked up, but whatever, right? So, Ventru, oh well, let's go. Cancel creation, are you sure? Uh, Chad Wellington, of course. Um, how do I go back? Yes. I just wanted to read the description of Ventru. Because that's what we got. It's not that we chose Ventru last time, right? We did the whole Q&A test, and we landed on Ventru, and I was like, guess I'm a Ventru. Truly the upper echelon of society. The Ventru are seen as the honorable and, and uh, blah, 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 virtuous leaders. <laughs> leaders of the Camarilla. They wholeheartedly support the masquerade, influencing the mortal and undead worlds to help them, help them maintain the masquerade as well as garner support for themselves. Clan Ventru is exclusively and powerful... Wait, what? Exclusively. Is exclusive and powerful gathering of immortals. And even the lowest... Even the lowliest... The fuck? My dog started... Started doing some crazy stuff. Started digging around. The lowliest initiative of class Ventru can, ex can expect special treatment in kindred society. This regal bloodline, however, gains no nourishment from the low-born and thin-blooded. Ventru gain no blood from feeding on animals, feeding on low-life humans, prostitutes, and the homeless. It can cause the Ventru to vomit. So basically, basically the Ventru are like, you know, they're, they're just like the higher class fucking pompous motherfuckers. But they're not as pompous as, as the Toreador. Toreadors are very artsy-fartsy type people. <laughs> I'm surprised that I didn't land on Toreador. 
I would walk around and I would just go, mm, the the inner workings of of this masterpiece is setting off my emotions. All right? But we're been true. You know. Look at the side eye he gives you. <laughs> Alright. Now, I do not remember what the fuck the stats were for Ventrue. I wish there was... Is there just like a... Base? Um... Isn't there like a thing that says... Actually, I've heard that There's nothing that tells you like you get bonuses, right? Because I know, uh... You receive plus five strength, stamina, and stuff. Yeah, I guess I guess Ventru just kind of is a clean slate, and they just get the debuff for being assholes, right? Hmm. They might get a plus on like, on like persuasion or something. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's been a while since I even touched this game. So, uh, let's see. Where are we going to start with Ventru? Uh, since I last played this game, you know, I touched on it a little bit more. I learned, <laughs> I learned, I learned more than what I left off with. Uh, and one of the things is I learned how the stats work, right? These stats down here, for the most part, are just like single, right? They just increase one single attribute, and up here, this control, uh, controls. Contributes like the two different attributes All right, so let's see we have dominate Powerful super ability specialized in own unique sets dominate the superior strength of the vampiric mind allows your characters to control the minds of weaker Kind and even some kindred dominate effects are converted actions convert actions They cannot be traced back to you and carry no risk Fortitude fortitude is just basically our uh, it's just it's basically like Poise from Dark Souls, I guess. You know, we just take a lot of hits. <laughs> right? Presence. Larger radius victims suffer a 15% chance of, mes of mesmerized. Negative. Oh. Let's see. Those close to you suffer 1%. One uh, 1%. Did I call it percent? What? Negative 1 strength, wits, perception, and reduces rate of attacks. So basically, it just makes them scared. Your influence is so big that you go, motherfucker, you shooting at me? And they go, maybe I'm not. <laughs> Alright. Talents, brawl, dodge, intimidate, subterfuge. Subterfuge is, what is that? That's the fucky-wucky ones? Yeah, that's seduction. Okay. Subterfuge. Stealth. Uh, melee firearms. Computer. Alright. So, let's see. What am I going to do with the... What am I going to do with the character? Let's see. Intimidate, haggle, persuasion, subduction. Well, I mean, damn. <laughs> you gave me too many options. Uh, lock picking goes with... What does lock picking go with? Lock picking goes with stealth. Security. Security and dexterity. Okay. I'm not worried too much about stealth. Stealth is kind of... Stealth is really fucky in this game. That's what it is. Um, melee, unarmed, range, what's melee? Melee, ability to do damage with melee weapons, unarmed, measure character's ability to do unarmed damage, which I mean, eh, we're gonna be going for melee, because I don't like the way range works in this game, at all. Bashing, ability to shrug off damage and bullets, lethal, ability to shrug off damage, bladed weapons, and, okay. Uh, I mean, we gotta go with seduction, right? You know, even though, even though in the vampire lore that they aren't, uh, they don't get down with their bad selves because they can't get it up, you know? But even though th there's that, you still gotta have it. <laughs> it's Chad Wellington we're talking about here. The Chad. The Chadster himself. Um, shit. Hacking. Let's, let's go with hacking feats. So, I'm gonna put one into wit. Put one into wit. I'm going to put... Hmm. Melee. 
definitely going to put something in melee. So that's strength, strength in melee, you know, affects melee. Okay. I get... Oh, I get nothing for that. What? I'm confused. What the fuck just happened? You stopped that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, so wits. Um, I kind of want to go for computer finance. Scholarship. What does scholarship affect? Scholarship affects persuasion. Finance is definitely haggle. Investigation is inspection. Computer. Computer is hacking. I'm going to put one in computer. I'm going to put two in scholarship. For skills, just melee. Security doesn't... Oh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Security. I want to get into places. I want to lockpick shit. And, um... Hmm. Talents. Brawl, dodge, intimidate, subterfuge. Full subterfuge. Full subterfuge. It's Chad Welton. We gotta be fucky out here, you know what I mean? Dominate. Fortitude. Fortitude, I'm gonna punch my way through problems. And then we have some social stuff. Appearance is more seduction. Manipulation is haggle. Charisma is persuasion. Gonna have four seduction. <laughs> Just go full seduction, right? Manipulation is haggle, right? Or is that intimidate? Which one was that? That's okay. Charisma is persuasion. Haggle is manipulation. Do I want persuasion or do I want a haggle? Do I want to talk circles around people? Or do I just want to make a bunch of fucking money? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think on this. Money. I'll go for money. Because if no one likes what I'm saying, I'll just punch my problems, you know? <laughs> what? That's the stats going in. The return of Chad Wellington. He is back. Hey Mongo, how's it going? We are starting a new vampire masquerade bloodlines. This time we'll finish the game. <laughs> I still have the streams from like last year when we played this. I wanna show you something. Oh, what are you gonna show me? You gonna show me your your Pokemon collection? I find it weird that it's like, you're the Ventru, and they're pompous assholes, they don't hang out with the low lives, and then you start off the game as a Ventru, in like, the world's shittiest apartment, like, just, just sleeping with whoever. I still think the Ventru looks like Jeff Keighley. Well, that was fast. Game over. And that was my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. It's unfortunate that you stabbed me in my fucking neck. Our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city. The <laughs> she blows a kiss to him. He's like, bitch. Many of you have come to me seeking. Dodge that shit. And I, have I ain't Captain Savo. <laughs> However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. 
They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. They were caught fucking. It pains me to announce the sentence. As up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to mm, the law adjudicator. of let tonight's when am I going to play Animal Crossing? Never. That we must I made to the, the executive decision. I'll never play that game. Lest we never, ever. Our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Oh no! Which leads to the fate of the Jack's just sitting there culture. going. Jack's just sitting there, uh, whatever. Sire, They're dead. Most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the He's ways like, of Mr. Rodriguez, and be if you will sit down. Rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plight. <laughs> like, never? No, not never. I thank you all for but for the foreseeable future, never, ever. Their significance is not lost. Good evening. Not until, not until I get to a point where I feel comfortable with what my, what my island looks like. Cause right now my island's just like, it's just a flat ground <laughs> with some houses. And who knows when I'll fix that island up. Cause right now I'm going through, uh, I'm going through Final Fantasy 14, getting ready for Endwalker to come out. So I'm running a lot of things through there. Last fucking yesterday, all I did was spend my time hitting a bunch of hitting a bunch of rocks, getting my miner up. Undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live. That is a giant doorway. That's a big doorway. So, what I'm offering is not also. Look at the swing of them hips. Opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. Cry if I don't you play Animal Crossing. Santa Monica. There you will meet an agent by the Go ahead. Curio. I live off the tears of the, the innocent. Details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until That you... is a giant door behind that man. <laughs> the man is the size of like a peanut. So here's the thing I here's the thing I hate about fucking Masquerade Bloodlines, right? The game is so fucking old that newer PCs have a super hard time dealing with it. So the game constantly like for me it hasn't crashed in a while, right? But the game constantly like kind of freezes and stutters especially when you're when you're like uh loading into a new area. It is it is weird. Use the mouse to look around, blah, blah, blah. Left click to continue, baby. <laughs> what a scene, man. Hooey. <laughs> then it is plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Uh, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? For a 2004 game, this game has aged phenomenally. I love it. Who the I'm hell are you? What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about... To those of you who don't know who the voice actor of Jack is, he's Jake the Dog from Adventure Time. We're talking to Jake the Dog. Finn the human, the fun will never end, it's Adventure Time. Let's see. Uh, what the fuck is he even asking me? Santa Monica, hi, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I can use some help. All right. Uh, All right. Why don't we, uh, step out back here? Uh, 
What are you asking? Why Spanish people don't don't sound Spanish? Wait, what? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think I don't think I don't think uh what's his name Jack is Spanish. This is much better. He might be. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, you could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? A drink? No, I have not. Oh man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha ha ha! Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood. It's your new rack of lamp, your new champagne. Said, so check it out. Blood, blood of the people. That's <laughs> what you live for. Hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. All right, what do I do? Around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> so? All right. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team. It'll come so naturally, you think you've done it a thousand times already. He won't be a vampire then. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain him dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't do it. All right. Okay, I won't kill the guy. That's your blood fuel. Make sure you drink it, because if you don't, you, you fucking... You go crazy. You start killing people. All right, to feed, you approach them, you press the F button. Once you see that bar, don't let it drop. They will die if it does. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Don't mind if I just suckle on a little of some of that, you know what I'm talking about? Just get some of that up in me. Just get all the juices in my mouth. Delicious. There's going to be a lot of sexual innuendos with this game. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Just went in the back of the alley and just sucked the dude off. You make me sound like a hooker, Jack. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, but it does feel good. And that's all, right. all that blood, matters. All kick -ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. All kindred, I think kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on Oh man. Chain. I totally never noticed that Jack like painted his fingernails black, that early 2000s shit going on. <laughs> yeah? Like what, Jack? Sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality's not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So, am I gonna live forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, worthless. A cross, pff, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak, only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water, eh, that's no problem. I bathe, occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire, that's real trouble. Fire like, bad. Well, you catch the sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Got it. Okay, now. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Man, Jack, what's going on? Sounds like people getting get out there. Yeah, I'll do that, Jack. You can interact with shit by pressing the E button. Cool. You can jump with spacebar. Ha! Look how agile I am. I'm like a grasshopper. Your feats are, com are the combination of your various abilities. Basically, make sure you do good on your stats and you can do crazy shit. Like this lockpick, for example. You grab Come it and up. Here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat. Uh... Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit. 
shit till later. Ugh. It's Sabat. Well, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? So what's up? Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. What's the prince the prince of? No time Is it Persia? Did that remaster ever come out, by the way? <laughs> that Prince of Persia remaster? I don't think that ever came out. What am I supposed to do, Jack? Heads up. Back away. That good old 2004 character models just, just, just non, you know, just, just the blankest stare on his face, shooting the gun. <laughs> Alright, I'm on it, Jack. You can trust me. Open up your quest log by pressing the L button, just in case you forget what the fuck you're doing. That that door has no handle. You can lockpick things by interacting with it with the E button. Did it. I'm through. If I can get through the fucking door. How the hell you get in here, Jack? Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I know how to handle myself. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great. Congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest, and that's what you do. He said, right? "Keep that shit to yourself. Get a room. Nobody wants to see it." Wait. I still got this list of people from high school. Why don't I fuck them up? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. All right, I get it. I guess I won't fuck up those people from high school. Maybe. Maybe. It's not a guarantee. Maybe. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a legend like you. Uh, what do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the McGilla Gorilla? The McGilla Gorilla? Put your sire to death. I love the McGilla That's Gorilla. The and Mr. Peebles? They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Uh, Camarilla, so they're like the good guys. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. Why you sound like you want to break my neck, Jack? What the hell is that about? All right, so what's next? All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, but what does that mean, exactly? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. Okay, I'll go and find it. These are the uh, the icons on the side. It tells you what the area is. If you see a gun, that means go fuck shit up. You see a mask, that means don't fuck shit up. You see a fancy looking E, C, symbol, F thing looking fucker. You don't do anything. You just be a good guy and you shut your mouth and you shut up. In the masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can carry a dying consequence, such as unwanted attention from the vampire hunters. After five masquerade violations, your game is fucking over. Keep that shit secret, keep that shit safe. Current number of violations is displayed on the upper corner of your character sheet, which you can access by pressing the C button. Look at that. 
all good all beautiful all right die my darling what's this when you read notes you'll see you uh, wait what <laughs> when you can read a note you will see the use icon readable notes various items like clipboards newspapers letters to read the note you just press the e button password chop shot cool computers they work like computers and if you have any questions you just ask the computer the question you can also hack them for passwords if you're smart enough here's the part of the game that I like but also don't like because I suck at typing password it is chop shop all one word baby now I want that shit to be unlocked the door is unlocked cool eh you can loot shit press the E button bam I'm gonna take that, thank you very much. There we go, now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Got it, Jack. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey -ya. Damn, Jack. Oh no, man. You got shot with by bullets. That shit hurt. The blue thing right there, that's your health. If it gets completely depleted, if it goes down, you're fucked and you're dead. That's all you need to know. If you see yellow health, it'll regain itself. And if you want your health to come back, that means you gotta go suckle on some necks. Waste to unlife, these sabbat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. What are you asking? <laughs> I don't know what you're asking. I don't speak Spanish. What's the difference? Uh, blood's blood, right, man? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for. So you want that good go shit. You want that good Bombs neck. And low life don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Jack, every doctor in the history of mankind has a PhD. They have, like, a million fucking, like... Like certificates on their wall, even though they probably don't mean shit. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. What happens if I, you know, let go of my humanity? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast? What exactly does that mean? The beast? It's always there. Waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't do but why I can use it. Are you asking what the what the letter itself is? If you're asking what the what the letter itself is, it's just it, it's Spanish it's Spanish letter. <laughs> I I don't know how to explain it. So I can't kill anyone. That seems a little restricting. That sucks. Why be a vampire then? I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. 
He said, I said, innocent humans. If some gangsters discing your fly girl, you just give him one of these. <laughs> I think I follow. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. How do you say it? Oh, fuck. Dude, it's been a while since I even took Spanish class. Uh. Mm, damn, I honestly don't know how to say it. I really don't even know how to pronounce that, that, uh, that letter. With the accent mark on it. I really don't. Alright, now go feed. Be careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. I haven't taken Spanish class in, like, five years. <laughs> Draining innocent humans will give you a, pen a penalty to your humanity. Do not kill motherfuckers. You can check your humanity by, uh, by this. If you lose all of this, the beast will take over, and then you'll go on a frenzy. And you'll also probably fuck up the masquerade, so you don't want to do that. Stay, keep your humanity. Drink up that blood, baby. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. Ugh. The blood of the bum was bad enough. I won't feed on that rat. <laughs> You'll see it in YouTube. Yeah, usually that helps. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Polite kindred society look down on that kind of thing anyway. So when you're a Ventru, you don't want to feed upon the hookers and the bums and the rats because that will just make you throw up. So, you're going to have to deal with that. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Just one guy? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're going to have to sneak past. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I have a feeling that, like, you pronounce that letter with, like, an E sound. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's how you pronounce it? I'll do my best. See you in a minute, Jack. I'm gone. You can crouch by pressing the fucking control key by default, but I think I changed my uh, settings for that, to be honest. I think I changed it to... Nope, not Z. Is it still control? No, it's definitely not control. Did I change it to Q? I changed it to Q. You get this green meter. The little gray thing shows how much sound you're making. The, the green one shows you how close you are to getting caught. Sneaking in this game fucking sucks. Oh, Inye? Th yeah, thanks for reminding me. That's how you pronounce it. It's pronounced Inye. It's pronounced Inye. That's how you pronounce that fucking, that letter. I was thinking of uh, the two L's that make like a Y sound. But yeah, it, it's an Inye. That completely like jogged my memory. Now I just gotta remember what a fucking umlaut is. <laughs> An umlaut. Uh, where the fuck am I going? I think I'm going back downstairs, right? Back this way? No. Jack, where the fuck am I going? What the fuck? Am I going through the gate? I'm probably going- Oh, I'm going through the gate. Duh. Stupid. There's a guy over here. You gotta sneak past him. Speak Spanish. What are you saying? You like spaghetti? <laughs> I'm assuming that's what that word is. Spaghetti. Freddy spaghetti. Oh, man. Oh, got caught. Definitely got caught. I hate sneaking. 
I hate sneaking in this game. It's fucking terrible. I'm just gonna, just gonna go. Pray that that dude don't see me. Oh, he saw me. How the fuck do I hide from you? It's the most difficult part for me. Is he gonna like turn around? Turn around. Go the other way. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. He won't turn around. This is why I hate this tutorial. Is there a, um... There's gotta be something to, like, turn the lights off, right? I think. Thought there'd be, like, a panel somewhere to turn off the light. It's going up. It's going up. Oh. What the fuck happened to that guy? That shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably greener than you. What makes you think that? The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor side is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. How can that be? He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. Well, I'll do my best to kill he that guy. A vampire, so be ready. I was born ready. Go get him. I'm on it. You can go beat the shit out of people. Equip your fist with, e uh, with F1. Put your fist away. You press H to holster. All right. I'm gonna go fuck that guy up. Come here, bitch. Get up. Ow. I killed the man with my bare hands. I now have a tire iron. Makes me more powerful. Haha. -ha. You can equip the tire iron with the, you know, the buttons. Later on in the end game, you'll find armor. You know, F3, blah, blah, blah. F2 is for range. So on and so forth. Sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Saban are going all out. You better head underground, avoid straight bullets. Sounds like a good strategy. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. All right. Eh. You can stealth kill someone by sneaking up to them and pressing the E button when you see the murder icon. Murder's great. Be careful though. Dude has some long ass fucking arms. Uh, where's the stealth button? Come on, stealth. Come, come on, stealth. Come on, kill. Stealth kill. Stealth murder. I wanna... I wanna kill him. Why won't it work? Oh. That's weird. What the fuck are you turning around for? You're not supposed to be turning around. There you go. You see nothing. Turn back around.
It's a sad storm. It is a very sad storm. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. If you have the uh BTTV extension uh on your on your Twitch, you can get access to a uh, to a animated emote that I have on there. It's free, don't worry. You just go to bttv.com and you just download that extension, put it on your Twitch, and then bam, get a couple of emotes. It's safe, don't worry. I tried it myself. Disciplines, they're your abilities. If you use blood buff, it increases your stuff for limited time. So blood buff that shit. Start lock picking. Basically, you only use it for hacking and lockpicking, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe conversations. Maybe, if you care that much. The Ventru have these abilities. Dominate, Fortitude, and Presence. Dominate, the ability to bend people's will to yours. Fortitude, you can take a bunch of fucking hits. Presence, it make people stop, stop attacking you. Fortitude is a passive discipline. It is also time-based. So use that shit. Uh, how do I not crouch anymore? Ha! Ow, you are fucking me up. Jesus. Why are you better at fighting than me? It's because I'm Vitru, isn't it? How do I open this? Oh. Open it for me, Jack. You can do it. They're clearing out. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. I'll meet you over there, Jack. Don't let them catch you. They won't. If I'm ten minutes late, call the president. Presence. Powers mystical project your own personality. Presence is passive. You put it on, and bam. It won't it'll fucking make people... Make people stop hurting you. Make them think twice. I think it doesn't affect the masquerade. Is that what it said? I, I didn't really read it, to be honest. Put that shit on. Mm. See how easy it is to fuck this guy up? That's because he lets you. You didn't use pre Wait, did I not use presents? Oh, I used blood buff. Oh, fuck. Damn it. It does not violate the masquerade. Shit. Presents. It was easier to fuck that guy up before, before he knew I was here. Dominate. Dominate. You gotta target it. It will not fuck up the masquerade. Trance? Hmm. Oh, I gotta be, uh... Gotta do it stealth. Oops! Did not, did not mean to swing that. Probably hurt me. Aha! Can I stealth kill him like this? I think I can. Get that motherfucker. He's dead now. When sneaking around, you can pick up shit and throw it to distract them. Like this. Hey. Huh? Go check that out. You so dead, you don't even know it. What clan? I am Ventru. I am Ventru. Very, uh, the highest of the elite. <laughs> Fuck 
I'm going off adventure because uh, when I played this game last year, when I played it last year, uh, I did the personality test and it landed on Ventru. Forgot that I'm Tuna Clan. What? <laughs> I'm confused. Bruja or death. <laughs> Bruja or death. Isn't a isn't Jack a Bruja? Take this thirty-eight fucking pea shooter, but a few shots and it'll take down a human. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die. Yeah, but um, last year when I played this. It was kind of difficult for me to stream it. I still have the recordings from, from last year, so I'll probably upload them on YouTube because, you know, it's just nice to have that archived. But between uh, between last year and now, I played a little bit more. I played Gangrel, and then I got a little bit farther than where I left off. But then, you know, I want to I wanna start fresh because I'm pretty sure I fucked up my stats. All the cool guys are Bruja. Jack is pretty cool. Well, you know, some are more lethal. Than Jack others. is Jake the dog. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch. Those things can smart, I tell you. I hear you, Jack. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Okay. Good job, Jack. You got a revolver. You can shoot. Shooting in this game fucking sucks. I hate it. Stop crouching. Wrong button. Stop crouching. Uh, what's the quick save button again? Is it F9? It's F9, and then I guess F10 is quick load. Oh yeah, he wants me to fucking, um... Wants me to shoot shit. We're going back to the first person. I hate guns in this game. Jesus. Come on, it's just one bottle. Shoot it. I tried my best, Jack. Fucking stupid bottle. I'm already on basement floor. There we go, ground floor. Let's see. Put points in guns or desk. It's not so bad. Yeah, I did put a little bit in decks. Um, does decks also affect? Heck, let me see. Lock picking. Yeah, I remember. Remember, I put some in lock picking. The only time I think I ever used a gun, like when I was playing Gangrel, was um was when I was leaving the house that, uh, that the head of the, um, Malkavian? I think, I think he was head of the Malkavian, right? That dude that you went in there, he was, like, already dead, and then the fucking house sets on fire. I pulled out a shotgun, I said, fuck this, I'm not dealing with this, everybody's on fire trying to kill me. Uh... There we go. Freeze, motherfucker. Freeze, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, he's dead. All right. Here's your options. Red means that you dominate people. Blue means that it's persuasion. Three means that you want a sucky fucky. Four indicates that you're intimidating. Why, why intimidation isn't red and fucking, uh, dominate isn't green? I have no idea, but that's how they decided to do it. It's very confusing. <laughs> I mean, I could put points in the guns, right? Or I can just get a fucking fire axe and just start beating the shit out of everybody. At least I know I won't miss with a fire axe. 
That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. You got some experience. That's it. It's all Until over. The next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back, parry, dodge, spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So is this normal? Well, to be honest, we came at a well, an interesting time. Let's say the Camarilla, the Sabat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. You're losing me here, Jack. Outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but ah, hell, you'll figure it all out. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's a bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. I love how he turns around. He's like, I'm out of here, and then he turns back. He's like, Wait a minute. You gotta finish this. You gotta finish the conversation. See you later, Jack. Alright, you received two experience points. Make sure you use that. Or save them up for that big ol' purchase. Experience go up, power go up, you, you turn good. Quest log has been updated. Get some, get some of these pills in here. Beautiful. Alright. We have two points. Where am I going to put them? Kind of want to put it in Dominate. Oh, well, we need 10 to upgrade Dominate. All right. Uh, finance, Wits, Intelligence, Research. I'm probably going to throw some in. Wait, how much do I need? Four? All right. I should throw some in Research. Research does help when you find, like, those books and stuff. All right. At your convenience, please come and visit my home downtown. I'll leave you this guide. Dark blood, our curses of light. <sighs> Whatever, man. Fucking regent. Hey, password for your computer is Sunrise. Don't forget it. By the way, come and see me. My name's Mercurio. What's your password? <laughs> Chad W E at home. Activate my email. Your password. That is Sunrise. Accepted. Let's see. Mercurio will contact you when he's ready to do some shit. Go speak with him. Great. Penis enlargement. <laughs> I'm telling you, if that ever worked. If that ever worked. That's all you'd be hearing from guys ever. They'd be like, hey man, did you do that penis enlargement thing? You're like, the, the what? They're like, uh-huh. Look for that lazy ass ex-husband. Come on down to Kilpatrick. We can find people. Hey, welcome to town. Come over to my place when you're ready to go fuck some shit up. I gotta go get some explosives right now. I'm over at 24 Main Street. Numbers on my building, bitch. Alright. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Cool. We got some things to do. Hello, Kick up the radio. Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to the dead of night. What? <laughs> what do you mean by 103? What are you talking about? I'm confused. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Failed. Let's Tell me I failed. I'm a venture. We don't fail. Success. I know in here there's like a book somewhere. Oh, there it is. Game Voyeur's Guide. Uh, inventory is I? Yes. This is why you get research, so you can reach it. My stat has increased. For what? I don't know, but it's increased. Probably for sneaking. Is it for sneaking? Let me see. Uh, yep, for stealth. I think stealth went up.
What brand of yacht do you have? The L.A. Sun. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. You should go check that out. What's in here? Nothing. Bunch of nothing. Nothing under the bed? No? Who just leaves pizza sitting here like this? Who leaves an open pizza box like this? You should be locked up. You should be locked up for doing shit like that. See, this is the part where the game just kind of freezes a little bit. <laughs> you got, you got some change, Mister. Get a job, <laughs> peasant. <laughs> Not peasant, but peasant. Get a job, bitch. Jeepers. You're lucky you're homeless, cause I can't. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it just to spite you. I'm probably gonna throw up now. Oh no. Managed to keep that down a little bit. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? <laughs> Ain't no loose bloma? What the fuck? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm confused. I don't know what that is. I'm not even sure if it was pronounced that way. It probably was. You're casting some sort of spell, that's what you're doing. Oh man, that dude looks fucked up. Paloma? Yes, what is that? Are you making me say bad words? In a different language? I really hope not. Uh, yes, is there something I can, um, help you with? What you doing out here? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. Not a dreadful place. Mm, it's rather mm, dreadful. Yes. Yeah, mm. my mechanic by Germany said. Huh. You know what? I don't think I ever had this guy say this to me before, and I, I guess it's probably... Maybe he said it to me when I played Ventru originally, and I just don't remember, but... Yikes. <laughs> Looking for a little company? Meet me in the alley. I could persuade you to help me out. My wallet's been stolen. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. Oh well, maybe look for a little company. Well then I'll be on my way. I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding <laughs> alley over there. Care to join me? Care to join me? There's no need to go that far. Oh god, this dude has a lot of blood. What the fuck? And that's what happens when you have seduction. You can just suckle anybody you wanna. I never I never did that before. Huh. Oh yeah, you're definitely casting some spells in my chat. I don't know what's going on. Alright, where the hell am I going? I guess the first thing I would do is go talk to Mercurio, right? Did I just hear like a woman crying? Hey man, you alright? Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Man, that seems like a you problem. You Marcurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. I think the eyes are the least of your worry. You're kind of... You're already not that much of a looker anyways. All right. Want me to call an ambulance? You kind of bleeding everywhere. What? 
No. I got a record back east. I'm heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. All right. All right. Cool. You look pretty bad. You sure? <laughs> what happened here? I, got, I went. Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. Paloma said that last time you, you seen it. Me. Who's Paloma? I don't know who that is. All right. It's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened. Yep, that's a rib. I see. So you got five minutes tops. I'm lying here bleeding to death, and you're cracking wise. I don't need this crap. Okay, just tell me who did this to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat. You went to a deal without a fucking gun on you? You're an idiot. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. That sounds like a cult. Sounds like you're asking me to join a cult. I will decline. <laughs> I don't like, I don't want to be part of no cult. I'm not drinking no Kool-Aid. Alright, so where are these bastards? Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood, and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, yeah, I want directions, street, motherfucker. I want to know where to go. I to get the job done that you the fucked right. up. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it. I know. All right. Let's see. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Alright. I'll bring something back. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about do I want to or not? I'm begging you. I will decline. <laughs> you got a way of getting people what they need. If you don't say anything, I can help you out. I would not. I don't want to agree to anything that I don't know that much about. Good to know. Bye. And then he will die. Alright. What's in here? I need a key card for that. Do I not have painkillers on me? What the hell did I what did I pick up? What am I holding on to? Pill bottle, estrogen, caution. Do not take if you are male. Okay. Uh. So what am I doing? Let's see. Help Mercury with his pain. He's asking to treat the astrolite. Carnival of death. The regent's riddle. My dog is like currently walking around my room. What, what do you want? Come over here. I don't know what you're asking me for. Why do you always bother me when I'm streaming, doggo? Why do you do this? Go sit down. Go sit on the bed. Alright. Uh... <laughs> they're disappointed. Can't can't be disappointed when you're not telling me anything, you know? Buy a watch. No more blessings to me. Yeah, that sounds like a cult. <laughs> That's definitely a cult. Alright, so I can go get the Astrolade. I can also go check out Kilpatrick's. Uh, hey there, need a date? Heather, I need a diet. 
I turn it at die. Uh, I guess I'll hit to kill Patrick, right? Cat is killer. That's true for uh, JoJo Part 4. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Kilpatrick, what's going on? Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? I feel like. Did I update the fucking patch? I think I might have updated the patch without realizing it because the models look way more detailed than what I remember them being. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. You run the place, I assume. Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees here, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> bounty hunter? That's gotta be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Hmm. Let's see. Is the bounty hunter you're talking about any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Can't find another bounty hunter. Use the bounty hunter you had before, Carson. What's going on with that? His name's Knox. I can't seem to find him now, too. Never heard that name before. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Do I want some bread? Since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Is that... I... I won't... I won't say yes, because it might be some kind of pledge. Within your cult. So, I guess no? <laughs> of course. Where should I look for him? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Before I go, can you answer me a question? Sure, pal. What is it? Actually... I'm getting the fuck out of here. Thank you, Gomez, and that concludes the news portion of the That show. man's going crazy. Dude on the radio talking about conspiracies. Talking about how he was abducted by aliens. I've been listening to a lot of uh <laughs> To a lot of like conspiracy theory stuff recently. Want a marble? I feel like you're trying to get me to agree to something. I really do. I want a million bucks. Can you can you give me a million bucks? I'll take that. You have so many marbles. I'm trying to. When when is the last time I even fucking played with a marble? What was the point of marbles? Now that I think about it, they were just tiny balls that always just get lost everywhere. I guess they just looked nice? Yeah, I guess they just looked nice. Some marbles, you kind of look at them and you go, oh, this is beautiful. It's like a clear marble with a little blue swishel in it. Swishel. Yes, that is a word. That I created just now. Uh, he said go to apartment? I don't even fucking... Skyline Apartments or some shit. Hey, need a date? What do you say? Uh, Arthur Kilpatrick wants you to locate his bounty hunter Carson and ask him to return. Oh, apartment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Call me a traitor. Good. <laughs> this apartment. All right. Let's see what I can. Let's see what I can find. There's a chest here. I'm unlocking that bad boy.
Wait, what? Disciplines are not allowed. I can't blood blood. Bl uh, God damn it! I blood buff. I can't blood buff myself. Not in here. Puma's life and love. Yeah, it's definitely a cult. <laughs> it's definitely a cult. After playing, after playing Danganronpa V3, I'm definitely worried about cult shit. What's going on here? McGee. Password required. Hack that bitch. Amalia. All right. Location. McGee is hiding in the tattoo parlor in Santa Monica. Okay. Key. Don't forget the key to the tattoo parlor. It's on top of the TV. Oh, I just picked it up. Okay. Cool. And then I stole his money, I think. Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding, and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm going to follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. It did sound stupid. Let's see. Uh, I have four. I forgot where I was going to put it in. I think I was going to put it in... Um... I think I was putting it in research, but now that I think about it... I need... Still need some, um, lockpicking. Security or dexterity. Let's see. Still failed? Oh, it's a difficulty of eight. Holy shit. Well, I kind of wasted that, but whatever. There will be more experience points next time. I'll just put it into research. If I play my cards right, there'll be a bunch of experience for everybody. Alright, so tattoo parlor, which is over here? Yes, tattoo parlor. Open up. Would you ever get a tattoo done if you walked in and it looked like this? Fuck no, never. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted the money. Why is my, um... That should be equipped. There we go. Alright, just making sure my tire iron's equipped. Uh... Hello? He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? I don't actually. What sort of appointment was it? Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Some modeling for me. Quite lucrative indeed. Really? Maybe I can do some modeling for you. Hmm. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Sounds good. Where are you at? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a bit. Anything done? Quick cash for modeling. A hand model. I've been watching too. I've been watching too much Friends. You know when Joey goes to Vegas, and he's all like, "Oh my God, you're my identical hand twin." I still haven't finished Friends.
I need to. There's only so much friends you can handle at one moment because fucking Rachel and Ross are so fucking unbearable. God, they're like the worst people known to mankind. Alright, he said basement studio. Over here. I'm trying to work off my memory here, see what I can remember. Gimbal's prosthetics. Yes, may I help you? Uh, hey, we spoke on the phone a bit ago. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. All right, man. Thanks. How's it going, Hello. dude? Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs. Limbs? So. Who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear. Let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Okay, Stan. Nice to meet you. You can call me... I don't know. I was trying to come up with a with a sexy nickname, but I couldn't. I I panicked. Aha! An eager participant. Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in, and we'll get started. Give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, if you know what I mean. Okay, Stan. Death. It's a nice little water cooler. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> What's going on back here, Stan? What you doing? How the fuck? Why'd you put those on the ceiling? It's a camera, so this is probably where I'll do my modeling. Blood pack. Don't mind if I do. Just take some of that. That's, that looks really dirty. I don't like that. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> what? It's a picture of a clown. Wonder if I took like a magnifying glass, would I be able to read that? Hmm. That doesn't look too good. Usually, uh, when you're doing your practices, you kind of want to clean up, you know what I mean? That's some real John Wayne Gacy looking type shit. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who? Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay. Now how do I open the door? Oh no! It's Gimbal! Coming out here with a... He's beat me with someone's hand. Hmm. Ah, fuck. What the fuck? Why didn't that count? Uh, just beat my ass. Fortitude. Wow, 
why is it so hard to hit you with a fucking tire iron? Ah! Get my ass kicked by Gimbal here. I never had my ass kicked by Gimbal before. Maybe I'll use my fist instead. Tire iron seems kind of, kind of useless to me. There we go. Give him that nice roundhouse. Hmm. Oh shit. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You Carson? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. You You're free it? to go. Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. I ain't got some work for you if you head back to the office. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all Aww. out of this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Oh, he took your finger. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I understand. I'll give him the bad news. Man, you ain't no, f <laughs> you ain't no fall guy. Later. You heard the dog barking? I think it's old Yeller. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Better do. Old Stumpy. Severed arm. That guy's just... That... That must be McGee. <laughs> that must be McGee. Getting all chopped up back there. You got anything back here for me? Nice to know that he had a... He had a nice little bed back here. I wonder, is there like a secret passageway in here or something? Is there anything in here? No, it's just a cell. I want to know how to get inside here because I feel like there's something in there that I can get and I want it. Hmm. Probably nothing in there at all. Note to self, Tyrant Iron sucks, but I got these cool ass kung fu moves. Guess I go give Kilpatrick the bad news. Those bats? The foxy boxes and the diner. I can go for a diner right now. I'm actually pretty hungry. Hey, Kilpatrick. What's shaking? I found Carson. Unfortunately, he is not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Fucking, he got his, his finger chopped off, man. I wouldn't come back either. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. So what's the problem? 
I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Oh, that guy's definitely not getting, not getting any love in that night. If his girlfriend paid for his bond and then fucking he didn't show up for a court date, Jesus. I'd be mad as fuck. I don't know. What do I got to do? Oh, by the way, you have not paid me for finding Carson. Give me my money. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thank you. Now, what about the job? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Okay, so you want me to find if he's here or not. That's it? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? All right, yeah, I can do that. There's no problem with that. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up Goes by the name Muddy. There above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. You're like, yeah, I need a nickname. What am I going to go with? Muddy. Why? All right. So, sounds dangerous. You know where I can get, like, a gun? Or maybe two? Well, I wouldn't normally tell you this, but since you did help me out, trip down at the pawn shop. He's a little fried and paranoid, so we don't usually sell guns to anyone, but just tell him all office sent you. We'll set you up, all right? All right. Thanks, man. This Muddy Mike guy's... Uh, what's his record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small-time stuff, mostly. Okay. What'd he do this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Okay. So above the pawn shop, that's right? right. Mary Ann Murrieta. In them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Got it, man. All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. All right, I am fucking out of here. What the fuck? Take a test for me? Sure. Um, oh, oh, seriously, job these up your ass. Here, try this one. Mm, hey, mm, motherfucking great chicken right there. <laughs> what is this? Hmm, yeah. Oh. Motherfucking good chicken right there. That's some good fucking chicken. Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. Alright. We need to head to the pawn shop. That guy, that guy definitely scared me a little bit. Uh, to the pawn shop, right? What's that? That's a smoke shop, I think. And the pawn shop. I still gotta get painkillers from Mercurio. Ah, the pawn shop. Out of the way. Hey man, you trip? Uh, hey. Yeah? How's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Are you talking about weed? <laughs> Are you looking to buy or uh, sell something? Uh, I heard this place packing some weapons. Oh, oh, damn it. Who told you that? It was Arthur. He sent me. All right. Look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed in these weapons. Are not exactly licensed. Legal, if you catch my drift here. Yeah, I understand, man. Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. I'll keep my nose clean, dude. Well, all right. Come take a look, then. I mean, I'm not really a gun guy. I'll just stab him with a knife, bro. Uh, let's see. What are you selling? This is what you're selling, right? You have a gun. 
what's the gun that I have on me? Don't I have a gun on me? I thought I did. Hmm. You know what? Probably, uh, Jack probably took his gun back. Uh, this is melee requirement four. Requirement three. Requirement four, damage 12, damage 10. Damage 16. No wonder why my fists were fucking on fire, dude. I beat the shit out of people with this. I just show them some of these kung fu moves and fuck them up. Alright, let's see. Uh, reading this will boost your computer knowledge. I will buy that. And reading this will raise your firearm skill. Why not? Uh, can I sell you anything? Estrogen. Sell. All right. Let me read a book. Bam. I now know how to use computer. Bam, I can shoot shit. How much money do I even have on me? $128. That's cool. Can I tell you the tire iron I have? Thanks for coming back. Uh, let's see. Nice store you got here, man. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Mm, yeah, I'm a little new here. Is that obvious? It's not a big surprise. We get you faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Alright. why do they come here? Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. I see. Okay. So what's your name, dude? They call me Trip. I own this show. They call me Trip, man. Because, you know, I be, uh, tripping. <laughs> Trip, you're a good guy. Alright. All right. Hey, nice to meet you, Trip. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Wait, what? I, you already asked me that. Trip, you okay? You Have you been smoking some of that wacky back? It's not a big surprise. We get you faces through here. What the fuck? All right, let me just buy something, All Trip. Right, here's what we got today. All right, man. Here's what we got today. Here, can you can you buy this for me? Cause I hate this thing. It doesn't work for me. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this severed arm, by the way. But I'll hold on to it for now. I know for a fact I can't whip out a severed arm in the middle of public. That's the quickest way to get shot. Need something, pal? Uh, what? I'm okay. Just looking for someone. Oh man, wait! Say that again. All right, I'm just looking for someone. Oh man, you—you're a vampire, aren't you? What? Vampire? You must be smoking something. And I want some of what you're smoking. Oh, come on. Oh, man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh, man. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just wanna talk. All right, then. Let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man. I knew it. I just... Oh, jeez. I knew you were... I just could tell. I... Oh, man, this is great. And... I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. You know we're supposed to be keeping a masquerade up. Why are you screaming to the heavens that I'm a vampire? Alright. I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes. Blew my goddamn mind. You say you're a ghoul. What the hell is a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire you out here ghouling? That's what you do? Vampire blood. The human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're a ghoul. And, ooh, watch out. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> Who's the vampire that made you a ghoul? You seem to enjoy it. Don't you mean wanna be vampire Lola? <laughs> That's the most venture thing I've seen all day. Don't you mean vampire wanna be low lives? Alright. Who's the vampire that made you a ghoul? Oh man! I really 
wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man. Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Okay. Do you like being a ghoul? It's awesome. Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. Just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. <laughs> I felt like a god just sucking on some wrist, giving some of that action, just licking it up. All right, so what are you doing? Well, look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man, but I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> All right, has anyone, has anyone ever told you you're an idiot? All right, dude, I'll, I'll see you around. Oh, man, like, hey, dude. That is, that is one jumpy guy. All right, what's going on in here? You seem like you, you're pretty angry. No speak English. No speak English, okay. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Uh, <laughs> I'm just bringing a friend who's treated some, uh, wait, what? <laughs> I'm just bringing my friend who's being treated some personal items. I will not be seen, nor shall I wait. All right, go on back. Yeah, you're damn right. I'll see what I can do. Ah, uh, my insides. It hurts so bad. <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I can save you. You okay? You, you you okay there? <laughs> Look at my eyes. They're just shifting everywhere. You uh you okay there? You, you all right? You, who, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? Nothing. I'll be going now. Goodbye. And just like that, I make my escape. Close the fucking door. Trying to be cool about it. There you go. Hey man, what's going on? I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Fine. You win. Alright. Uh, give me a... Well, first of all, I gotta save real quick. Uh, what's the button? F9? F9. There we go, I did it. Give me a quick second. I'm gonna take a quick little break. Because I need to go and use the bathroom. So I'll be back in like five minutes or so.
Oops. Wrong button. All right. Uh, continue. We're back with more. Vampire the Masquerade. Um, let's see. What the fuck was I doing? I went in here. You have three emails. Well, show me them emails. Password. I don't know. Oops, wrong button. Wait, what? Ah, oh, I opened Cortana. Get out of here, Cortana. Nobody likes you. How do I, how do I tell you to leave? Go. All right. Password. What was it? Control C? Con isn't it Control C? Am I... What the fuck? All right, there we go. Control C. Lakers. All right. Hey, Danny, I can use a little help down here. Can you go out to the controlled substances for some morphine? Give me some of that morphine. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. I didn't know they were out upstairs. Maybe you can get some in Malcolm's office. By the way, your mother wears combat boots. Oh shit, that's cold. But I'll make sure to knock before I go in. I hate to catch him in the middle of a pelvic examination. And by the way, tell your mom to stop calling me f dog. Okay. Your mom. No, your mom. Personal. Personnel. Let's see. Bill E. Martin Roberts. Thornton. Uh. I don't know who the fuck any of these people are. I think Thornton is uh. Is the girl. <laughs> That we just saved? I forgot what the fuck her name is, like Kelly or something, I don't know. Alright, malpractice suits filed against him for unnecessary gynecology. Suggest termination. Oh, well then, I don't know who the fuck is who then. Who are these people? Well, I know where to get morphine now. Pill bottle. I will take that. Is that a microwave? What is this? <laughs> Success. Morphine bottles. Thank you. Emails. A uh, type list of. Wait, what? Did I not type an email? Password required. I require no password. You will bend to my every will. Pansia. Tonight. Tonight. We are young. Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You still make those house calls, don't you, doctor? You still make those house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want, but I really need some help studying for my anatomy test. I guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over, and if you should want me to show you my appreciation, you just gotta ask. Oh. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. And do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? Who plant? I understand having donuts and orange juice for breakfast. You know, you just pick up and go. But who plans ahead of time and goes like, yeah, I'm going to have orange juice and donuts for breakfast.
I bought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. Wait, is this... From Trina? Oh, they're two different people. Okay. They're two different people. Alright. I was confused. I was like, I was like, what happened to the sexy talk? And then it goes to... My mother's coming in, uh, guest room, got some new stuff. You, uh, make sure to bring some donuts and orange juice. I went in here already, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hey, man, you Malcolm? I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. You Malcolm, dude? Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? Hmm. Guess you don't care if your wife finds out then, nah. Are you trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Then I'll go forward that email from Paige to Trina. Wait now. What do you want? I want $75. Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. And you'll never speak to me about that again. Put it in my mailbox, bitch. How's it feel, Malcolm, to be a bitch? <laughs> I love how he's like, you blackmailing me? What do you want? And then your character just goes, $75. Like, very specific. <laughs> Damn it. How do I get through here? Lock picking. Success. Upstairs. What's upstairs? Oh, there's a guy over here. This is a masquerade spot, so I can't really... Can't really do much. This leads outside. Let's see. Get some of that liquid demon seed. Put that seed inside me. <laughs> Look how creepy this guy is. He looks like he's about to pull a gun out. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. I bet you're here to take blood. My name's Chad, not Jack. I'm Chad Wellington. You offering? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? I require a finer vintage than the swill most others drink. I can accommodate a refined palate. Ooh, you can. Let's see what you got. Ninety-four dollars per pack. Green bitch would say no. No, 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 no. Queen Mitch would say no to that. Oh, oh no. Wouldn't like that. Wouldn't like that, Queen Bitch. Queen Bitch would say no. Oh. You okay? Oh, no. Wouldn't like that. Wouldn't like that, Queen Bitch. Queen Bitch would say mm. no. No, 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 no. Queen Bitch would Blue say blood no pack, to that. Blue blood pack, 188. Drinking restores blood points. Find a human specimen. Okay. Five? You okay? Oh no, wouldn't like that, wouldn't like that, queen bitch. Queen bitch would say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Employee of the month. What's his name, Vandal? Oh, he looks like a fucking drug addict. Success. <laughs> fucking, what was it, $85 for... For some bullshit. I tried my best. I tried.
Nothing in here, it seems. Uh, moving on through. There we go. Alright, nothing in there. There's a keypad in there. Um, do do boo boo. Where the fuck am I? The morgue? Cadavers? Okay. Abra Cadavra. Password. I need not know password. Cowbell. A Bobo G, Jane Doe. Okay. A Bobo. A Bobo. A Boo Boo. Wounded suggest subject was beaten to death with a baseball bat. Ugh. At least, did, did, did they get their peanut butter jelly time? There's a Jane Doe here, so someone we don't know is dead. Subject apparently died. Indeterminate causes. No subject's body contained only one pint of blood. Foul play suspected. Okay. Severely beaten to death. Something, uh, something about the way this one looks made me want to lock it in the freezer. That's some cannibalism shit talking right there. It looks like it's still fresh. Put it in the freezer. Subject apparently choked to death on ham and or cheese. That's a bitch way to go. <laughs> Man, I was just eating a ham sandwich. It was deadly. I really hope it tasted delicious. Fucking door in the middle. Not door in the middle, what am I saying? Uh, this thing. It's in my way. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing. Ooh! What's this? Success! What, what'd I get? A whole lot of nothing. I got a bunch of nothing in here. Just kick that through with my own little legs right there. This leads upstairs. Oh. Over here. Malcolm office key. Guess I don't need that. <laughs> Cause I already bust through there. And then there's something upstairs. I saw a guard walking around. I'm gonna put my trance on. Just in case. Uh, quick save it. I wanna get caught. Failed. Oh, there he is. Come over here, guard. I just gotta... Just wanna put you under my spell. I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. I put a spell on you. And it was strong. 
I won't kill you, though. Hopefully that puts you out of commission for a bit. Oh, no, that's presents. Shit. I wanted to do blood buff. Success. Okay, there's a... Uh... What? What just happened? Failed. That guy's still... That guy's still feeling it. What's this? CS door? Password? Dosage? Dosage. Okay. Unlock. Don't know what I'm unlocking, but I'm unlocking it. Alright. CS cabinet. Required. Password. Page. I'm guessing Malcolm's the one who set up this password. Okay. Control the camera enabled for your security. Okay, there's a camera. That that's enabled. You still <gasps> He's out of his trance. Where'd he go? <gasps> there he is! I can't kill him. Was there supposed to be something in the cabinet? Oh, shit. Well, yep, got caught by the camera. Definitely. Where is he? Well, you shot at me. Time for you to die. Humanity loss. Sorry. You can't make me. Guard key. Failed. I'm running low on blood and I'm pretty sure I don't have any more, do I? You can't make me come out, coppers. I won't do it. Come out with your hands up. You have nothing against me. Nothing will hold up in the court of law. Is there anything in the fridge up here? No? Okay, cool. Where does this lead? Oh. Could I... No? I was hoping I can, like, destroy the camera from up here. Where is, uh... I guess I'll sneak out through the back way then. Come out with your hands up. 
Where's uh where's the dude with the blood? What's his name? Vandal. That guy. That door's locked. Freezers. Password. Ambrosia. Temperature passcode. Passcode. Error. Data contract administrator. What? Did I not type that incorrectly? No, I did. Alright, well. Shut up, copper. I'm trying to... Can't you see I'm trying to do some... Some hacky shit over here? Hmm. Freezer controls. Alright, what's the what's the point of this? 10, 12, 2. I need blood. I'm gonna go crazy. Exit. You, sell me blood. Need a fix? Don't fucking say it like that, damn it. Overpriced ass blood. Can't believe I wasted my money on that shit. This is probably the door that he's in. Super locked. I'm gonna get in there one day and I'm gonna kill him. Failed. Damn it. And this is locked too. Okay. Well, I'm out of here. I got morphine. I got morphine for um, Mercurio. That's what I'm gonna do. What? Oh! I didn't think they would be out here waiting for me. To the sewers! They'll never find me here. I wonder what happens if I try to feed on a rat. Yeah, I get no sustenance from it. Okay, cool. Uh, so I guess I'm just hanging out in the sewers until the cops go away. Oh, well, they're hunting me. But they'll never think about looking in the sewers. They'll never find me. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Bill Bond, Smoke Shop, Santa Monica Pier. Where's the uh, Santa Monica Suites? 14. You are here. 14 is just. Alright, it's just in front of me. 
It's just this way. Access point G. So this should lead... Police have given up? Good. That's what I like to hear. Man, that's crazy, guys. You guys see that crazy dude? Do that crazy thing. That's crazy. Hey, Mercurio. You dead? Aw, oh, damn. You did die on me. Oh. Try not to die. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I brought you some morphine. Here you go. Oh. Oh, holy Christ. I needed that. All right. You're welcome. I'll be back with the stuff. Humanity gained. Me killing that one guard didn't matter. Experience. All right. I have to get the astrolade. Aren't there? I actually check muddy. Uh, put money on above the pawn shop. Mercurio's actually received Jasmine. Check out the pier. Got it, got it, got it. All right, there's an apartment above the pawn shop. Is, isn't that my apartment? <laughs> isn't that my apartment? Patrick called my apartment shitty. He's not wrong. Hello, LA. You are ah, yes, my $75. I worked hard for that. I shall take it. Is this his room? Got the first shot at dead tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Oh. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. Is that Elvis Presley? Gus, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Let's see, I have four points. I wanted to put it in research, if I remember correctly. Let me just see. My melee, unarmed is one. And that strength and brawl, and then melee. Melee is just melee. Contributes both unarmed, wait, what? The brawl ability. Barehanded, strength, for both unarmed and melee combat. Oh, okay. And then melee is just close combat with handheld weapons. Okay, so this is weapons. This is both weapons and unarmed, and this is just unarmed. Okay. So right now, unarmed's doing pretty good for me. So I guess I can just put in strength, because that goes for both, if I really wanted to. Right? Four... And then research is intelligence and scholarship. What does intelligence scale with with intimidate? Probably wouldn't know the brand. I uh, it is. So the top the top stats are like the more important ones, to be honest. Hey there, buddy. Where is that damn tow truck? Man, I don't know, but you looking for a little company? I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Care to join me? No need, baby. I'm running low. All right. Good job, buddy. Good job. 
So where am I going now? Oh, I checked out the apartment. Um, he also expected a call from someone named Reno. Should report back to Arthur. Let's go do that. Wrong way. Heading over here. Arthur, where are you? You're down at the at the bond shop. The Judge of Souls! Alright. Kilpatrick. Muddy definitely skipped town, but he's not outside of LA. Hey there, Slick. Alright. Got some info on that Muddy guy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? He fled someplace downtown. Alright then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. You can thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Yeah, thanks, buddy. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. See you later. Um, I'm working the late shift here at the uh, yacht club. Uh -huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little. All right. Well, that's done. Oh. Find money. While trying to find money, Mike Durbin for Arthur Kilpatrick. You heard answer machine message that said he headed downtown Skyline Apartments. Even though Arthur has cut you loose, maybe you can get some money to find him. All right. Well, that's that's downtown. I need to head down to over here. Head on down to the pier. Look at this fucking hippie truck. Hippie truck, hippie van. I'm not a car guy, don't ask me. I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier. That's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing we've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago, up in Melody, found this guy on the beach. Looked like, I don't know, an enemy attack. Shark bite? Nah, I seen shark bites. This was something. I was literally slashed to ribbons. The worst part was I love how the police just look at me and they're not even gonna question that I'm just sitting here. Shit. <laughs> Take that shit, Ted. He's like, that's why you ain't get invited to the wedding, bitch. <laughs> like, damn, that's a low blow. Sewers are a great protection in secrecy, the vampires who wish it. Like the Nosferatu, because they're so fucking ugly. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. What? Those men you were looking for. How'd you know I was looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Hmm. Well, thanks.
save that game, baby. Help you? Let me in. Okay, you can go on in. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, cause I would love it. Huh. I'm sure your personality has nothing to do with you being out here. <laughs> All right, buddy. Damn, I want to hurt somebody. Mm. Real bad. Hey, guys, I was invited in. All right, all right. Um, do I do I talk to you? No. Hey, guys. playing some cards okay hey man uh -huh. yeah you look real good at me before we do business before anything changes hands I want you to hear this if you try to cross me I will fuck you if you tell the cops about me I will find you then I will fuck you and if you are a cop I will fuck you and your whole family, including that squirrel in your front yard. Now that we know that you real nasty, nasty. What can I do to make you walk out like you I'll fuck you and like your family chili. and the squirrel in your front yard. Okay. <laughs> you can kiss my ass, bitch. <laughs> All right, what you got? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. So you sell cocaine, got it. Green, blues, red, black, you pick a color. I'm looking for something different. Got any explosives? Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? To blow shit up. What do you think? Wife got the house. Got the house in the divorce. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. Hey, look over here. Looks homemade. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Hmm. I don't got any money though. You mean you've been wasting my time? Ah, I fucking hate that shit. Get out of my house before I feed your broke pale ass to my dog. Oh man, really? All right, fine. Goodbye, dude. Who the fuck still shoot me? This guy. Aw, oh, damn it, I can't feed on him. Ah! Motherfucker hit me with a bat. Alright. Oh, shit, you're still alive? I'm trying to take some blood from you. There we go. All right. I'll take that. Oh, my bad. I'll take that knife. Thank you very much. I'll take that, that's mine. Huh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh! Ah. Ah. 
That dude is still alive. Okay, oh, what's this? A stereo. Anything in the bathroom I can take? I wonder what the fuck blew up. computer was working too, but I guess it's not anymore. What's this? Turn something off. Hmm. Probably could have done something the sneaky way. All right, well, got what I came for. I'll pick up this baseball bat, too. It's mine now. Damn, Arcurio, you couldn't do any of that? Thanks for the tip. You have been. No, no, you are going to China. To China? Do I look like Shinmu to you? What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? Is it the father? Is it, is it the father behind him? Uh, you're not making any sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh God. Oh God. Run. I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. No, no, you just had an episode in front of me. What the hell was that about? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Why are you lying? All right. Can you tell me my fortune then? I'll pay you money. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Okay. <laughs> she, <laughs> that was a real crazy sales pitch, lady. <laughs> but then she ended it with, I need money to leave this place. So I believe you, but <laughs> just for $100, I'll tell you the truth that you don't want to hear. That's some like fucking hotline shit that you call. 100, I'll give you 20. Here's my question. Uh, 100, how about 20? Then ask again. Okay. It's going to happen to me in the next few nights. The Crimson Sheep. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs? He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Who can I trust? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Man on the couch and the lone wolf. Okay. All right. Who's my enemy? Many. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. You are saying the things that I want to hear and it's making me like you even more. All right. So, any advice at all? In fifth grade, who <laughs> stole my bike? <laughs> Those with a lot to say? usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Who the fuck is E? Alright. 
something that can save my life. Don't open it. Got it. Don't open it. Don't know what you mean, but I won't open it. In fifth grade, who stole, who stole my bike and my fucking Game Boy Advance? I see the future, not the past. You know what? At least she wasn't snippy about it. Okay. So am I going to win after it's all said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. Bought the game? Hmm. Whether or not you win Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines, it's not, it's not about that. It's only if you bought it. We have your money now. <laughs> Alright. I like her. She's cool. How's it going, shirtless guy? Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. The fuck are you talking about? You mean you ain't here to run us off? No, I would you think that. We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. What's wrong with you? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Thin bloods? What clan are you from? Clan? See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How this happen to you? I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's well been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty, not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And Hmm. Whoa, look at the time. I am out of here. Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realize now how she must have felt. So here I am now. A mystery to myself. What? So... <laughs> Wait, she's like, I feel bad for myself. And you're like, I don't understand. She's like, let me make you feel bad for yourself, too. What? All right. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. You do know your vampires, right? Are all the others thin bloods? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Okay. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Maybe I should look into this whole entire thin blood thing. I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. All right, I'll see what I can find. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That I like Rosa. Copper. The one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. All right, any ideas what I might be looking for? Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. All right. Easy. Easy. No, I'm what the me. fuck? Uh, Back up, man. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, evening. Are you okay? It's n nothing. Sorry to bother you, then. Do I scare you? No, 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 no. I, I have a sp speech problem. S sorry. 
Sorry to bother you then. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? What are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? <laughs> if he's killed with the holy stake, sure. Interested in purchasing it? Oh, man. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I should lie to him or not. Stop looking at me, Rosa. You're judging me. <laughs> okay, but first I had another question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Hmm. So they're not ghouls, they're thin blood, so they're they're in it for the long haul, I guess. Sure, if it's unicorn blood. Unicorn blood? Fine. I won't sell you anything. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money, y'all. Come back in a little while. I will. <laughs> Fucking mayhem, bro. Hi, Rosa. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. All right. If you don't want to talk, fine. I like Rosa. She's cool. All right, guess I'm heading to the diner then. And then I got to find like a, a steak or something. Oh, I got to check the pier while I'm here. Found a steak. <laughs> All right, checking the pier. What the fuck was that? Something was on the mountains. It stared at me and it ran away. Blood quest. Rampage. Call of Duty. Pitfall. Okay. Yikes. Can I talk to you? No? Okay, cool. All right, just, you know, just checking, making sure. Someone in my house is currently clinging dishes around. Nice to know that whenever I click the stream button, all the noises in the world must be made. How long have I been streaming for? Oh shit, almost three hours. All right, well let's uh, let's head to the diner, cause that's what I want to do. Um, the diner is this way, I think. Yep, there it is. Something I can help you with. Hmm. So, uh, how's it going? I don't see how that's any business of yours. Alright, 
Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude, Goodbye, dude. Then. What the fuck? What is on your... Is that a tattoo? What is that? Oh, what kind of fucking animal just throws their pizza on the goddamn table like that? What'll it be? Uh, the cream's curdle. I can smell it. I think <laughs> those are rat droppings there. All right. My guess is you don't serve my kind here. Oh shit. Is that a trick question? Anyone that might try to drink someone else's blood. Uh, you see any girls hanging around here? Pale girls. <laughs> All right. See a couple in here a few months ago. Surfer dude, girl. Mm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. All right, smart ass. All right. Have you ever heard of the term thin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? All right, never mind. Um, try and remember. Try and remember. I know you got early set Alzheimer's going on, but mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe some kind of strange or pretty girl said something about it recently. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah. I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She left a tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? All right. I'll do just that. Does she left stuff back here? Or did she give it to me? Oh, she gave it to me. Okay, alright. Cool. I'll, uh, check that out. Mm -hmm. I'll check it out in the alleyway where no one can see me. Huh. All right. A purse left behind in the diner. All right. A photo of a young woman. The message on the back of the photo reads, August, Santa Monica, Lily. That's Lily. Okay. Bail bond. Receive for bail bond. What's for one Rolf Toten? Uh, check that out at Kilpatrick's place. Like, hey man, you know anything about a bail bond? The Doom Slayer, or Doomsayer. What do they call him, Doomsayer? Hey Slick, great to see you again. Alright, cool man, I'm curious about your business. Bail bonding? What do you want to know? Actually, I'd like to ask you something else. Sure, pal. What is it? Have you heard about the murders in town? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Oh, what are the cops doing about it? Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Or if you say so, ironic. Must be going now. How many boats do you own, Hugo? Two. Um. Uh, What's his name? Rolf Totem. I used to do a little so. Myself. What brand would be. Do you have? Um. You probably wouldn't know the Totem brand. Are. I uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, like Italia Bella, Calate Italiano. Bond written. Mount. Car red. No, go back to go back to Germania, pal. We don't take the euros in these parts. Oh shit. <laughs> all right, car red. It's all. 
Following the lightning bird. What's keeping you? Dab, play. Dab, listen to me, Dab. They're at it again, and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report this stuff on the news because they own the news. All right. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest Guess conspiracy? Guess I'll go. Uh, you found the reference. License read. Perhaps you can find the car. Perhaps you can find the car. Looking for a red car. Probably in the parking garage. The bones of your Doomsayer, that's what he's called. <laughs> Everybody run for your lives! It's the Doomsayer! Not to be confused with the Doomslayer. Looking for a red car. That's a red car. Oh. Found a journal. Diary. Seems to be a woman's diary. Uh, I met a guy at the asylum. He's so beautiful. Oh my god, his name is Rolf. And he's from Germany. European men are just classic compared to the boring Californian boys. He asked me to, he to see me tomorrow night. Wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. Gonna go shopping tomorrow, pick up something. Will make me look like a big fat pig. Alright. I think I'm getting serious with Rolf. I woke up at 9 p.m. today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since Saturday night when Rolf was over. I woke up late again, haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. Ah, Rolf said he was going to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about taking me with him. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's gonna leave. Uh, I haven't seen or heard from Rolf. Bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he do this to me? Talked with a guy I met at Surfside, five this morning. Okay. Met the guy from Surfside again. He has no idea what I am. I brought E. The guy from the Surfside back to my apartment last night. He says he's going back to Australia in a few days. And now the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I never felt this way about someone before. Not even Rolf. He kissed me last night and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. What the fuck? Man kisses you and then you go, Oh, that's right. It's on. And you just dig your fangs into his fucking jugular. Crazy. I haven't been able to feed since that night with E. I'm afraid what happened. I might remember Rolf brought blood from the blood bank. And, okay, cool. To the blood bank! If I remember which way it is, it's this way, right? I think I can go through the, through the uh, back way. Because I unlocked that earlier. I remember things. Hey man, what's going on? This dude has the world's creepiest smile. It's a mesmerizing liquid, isn't it? The color, the bouquet, the form. When I was a kid, I used to wait for the snap of the rat trap. It would trickle out of the animal's face and ooze just far enough to coagulate around the cheese. A poetic death. Dude, you getting turned on by this or something? You're pretty fucking weird. <laughs> Alright, uh... Just needs to get in the back room, ma'am. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Oh man, it's okay. The queen bitch. Uh, fuck, I stuttered. The queen bitch gave me her okay. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, go ahead, call her. She did, huh? Queen bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Well, I'm not just anyone, jackass. All right, go ahead, call her. Do it. Hmm. Opened. 
Don't worry. I won't make too much of a mess. I got this. I'm gonna get in that room one day, and I'm gonna fucking kill the mess out of that guy. Freezers. Yeah, I definitely went. I tried to get the passcode from here earlier, but it didn't fucking... It didn't work. Uh... I forgot what it was. Ambrosia. That's what the password was. Passcode. Okay, it wasn't there before. 1969. 1969. Fucking nice. Uh, the freezers over here. It was this pad. All right, 1969, baby. Wait, did I not put that in right? There we go. You okay there? You're not looking so hot. Hunger. I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lining up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. What happened to you? Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Uh, calm down. Tell me who the hell you are. What's it worth to you? Will you give me if I let you go? Anything. Let me go. <laughs> no, I think I'll go buy a bag of you. Oh, so they're draining her for her blood. Oh. Ugh. All right. You can go. You don't look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God! <laughs> Just the face of like, what the fuck? That was weird. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop, and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've, I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? The beast took you over. That's what happened. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? Shh, calm down. It's all right. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who the hell are you? My name is Lily. Okay. E's looking for you. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I don't know, but... It's pretty weird that the guy's name is E. It's kind of shady if you ask me. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood. And apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. All right. You should go see E. He's on the beach. He said he forgives you. He wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? I guess not. I mean, he doesn't really have a choice, to be honest. He can't fucking go walking around in the sunlight. I'll go see him. Thank you. Alright, wait a second. I don't do rescue pro bono. What? Rescue's pro bono? I don't even know what the fuck that means. What do you got for me? 
don't have anything to give. Hmm. All right. All right. You, you did just get... Yeah, I did just free you from you getting your body sucked dry, so... And not in the good type of way sucked dry, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm stuck. Oh, well, there we go. No! Motherfucker, you open this door right now! I'll kill you! Let me in! <gasps> I'm getting pushed back by the forces of evil. I'll kill you! Oh, you look angry. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. What accident? Nothing happened back there. I was just buying blood. Right. A transaction. Green for red. Interested? Yes, I would like to make a withdrawal. Oh man, it's still expensive as fuck though. Never mind. Need a fix? Need a fix? No, not right now. Need a fix? Huh. Alright. Guess I'm heading back to the pier then. That went over pretty easily. How is my, um... What's my character sheet look like? Ooh! Seven experience. Ooh. That makes me happy. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna put it into, right? Maybe, maybe put it into more seduction. I like talking my way through problems. <laughs> All right, back at the pier. Hey there, Lily. Hi. How to go at E? This life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. What about the blood, though? All right. <laughs> Remember what you did. Give me some money and I won't tell E. All right. You kids stay out of trouble. Don't know how you're going to fix the blood situation, but, you know. You brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped us, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. All right. No one deserves to be left in that place. We're going to be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the Jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Jack comes out of the box? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> if the shit house goes up in flames, it's probably been my fault. Alright, well... Bye. Where did you go? Do you have any of those items you mentioned? I got a steak. Give me a hundred dollars for it. Yeah, here you go. Uh, now where can I find the head vampire? Tallest building downtown. His name is Lacro- Oh! <laughs> Dude, what? Oh no! 
His name's Rodriguez. He's probably downtown. Oh, no. Can't you figure it out? He's the president of the United States. Oh, I feel so bad for this guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can tell him to go and kill LaCroix. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, United States. You won't have to live like this anymore. I'm going to kill the head vampire. That guy is so gonna get shot. I feel so bad about him. Anything new with you? E e evening. Huh. You know anything about the murder on the pier? M mur murder? No, no. I, I wasn't here when it happened. Oh, well, thanks anyway. <laughs> oh, come on. Number two is so bad. Thanks anyways, man. Anything new with you, Rosa? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Do you know anything about the murder on the pier? Murder. Yes. The killer is dead. So vampire. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis. And to the home of the stars. And then... Returns fulfilled and empty once again. All right. <laughs> Do you write for the IRS? <laughs> you write forms for the IRS? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. All right. Well, thank you anyways, Rosa. It was nice seeing you again. I wish I could give you the hundred dollars you asked for. I can't, I really want to do. You know what I mean? She's very helpful. Alright, how long have I been going for? About like 3 hours and 20 minutes? Um, let's see. Where are we at? Mud hunt surfs up. You retrieve the astral life from Arcuria. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hand in the astral light to Arcuria, and then we're gonna call it quits for the stream because we've been streaming for a good amount, and this is the main quest, right? We went and got that done. Oh no, you're dead. Uh, All right, I got the astrolite. Yeah. Did you waste those sons of bitches? Oh, you know it. They dead. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Your money. Did I get his money back? Shit. Sorry, no, didn't find it. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> Do I I might have gotten his money back. Do I give it to him? Ah, eh, fuck it. I guess sure here. Oh, you're a I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. All right. What's the story with the astrolite? That astrolite? Astrolite. Voice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabot interest. All right. What do you know about the warehouse? I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types, and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe what? Well, uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. Why? What happened? Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. But if you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Okay, where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. What well, can you tell me about her? 
She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. All right, I had a question about Ooh, someone else. Jeanette Vorman. Therese, Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. What kind of rumors? All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. All right. Who exactly? Bertram. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Man of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Who exactly? What about you? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Alright, what about Santa Monica? Specifically? Tell me about the power players. Who exactly? Never mind. Alright, how many... I got nine experience points. That's great. Alright, save my game. Oop, just like that. And that's gonna be it for now for uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So, uh, take a nice little stretch. Been streaming for about, for almost three hours and a half. So that's gonna be it for this. Um, next time I stream will probably be, if if I have time for it, definitely will be tomorrow, um, around the same time, you know, around like 10 to 11. You know, starting at like 10 to 11. Uh, Eastern time if you're on the East Coast. I think that's like 7 in the morning or something like that on the West Coast. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Around those times. And then, uh, you know, after, after that, later that night, later tomorrow night, I definitely will be streaming, uh, going back into Corpse Party. Uh, Corpse Party Blood Drive. Because I was having fun with that. I was having a lot of fun with that last time I played. I was cracking too many jokes. <laughs> but yeah, for those who came and watched live, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Um, you know, leave a follow on the Twitch channel if you're interested. If you want a sub, drop a sub. You know, I can't really make you do anything. For those watching the VODs, I hope it was entertaining enough for you. For those on YouTube, in the description below is a link to the Twitch. I mean, it's on the screen, but also it's a link to the Twitch and Twitter. You can follow me there. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I make some jokes here and there on Twitter. And just maybe I'll say something here and there. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. But, yeah, there's that. Currently on the YouTube channel, we are... Well, Psychonauts 2 got finished. And I am uploading the streams for Danganronpa V3. There is one... There was one um, stream that the file got corrupted with, so I'm not able to upload that. But I'll, I'll find I'll find a way to uh, kind of replace it. I, I don't know how to how to explain it. I'll do something. So keep an eye out for that. As for the next playthroughs coming through on the channel uh, for YouTube, right now I'm in the middle of trying to get them started. I just need to. I just need to make some emails. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, there's that. So, you know, in the meantime, we're just going through Corpse Party and Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time uh, on the next video. <laughs> Once again, thanks for watching. And, you know, on YouTube, leave a, leave a like, subscribe, all that. It helps the channel out if you enjoy the stuff. It helps us with notoriety and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it for me. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.